it was important that we, the National Farmers Union, helped to organise this event with the Institute of Animal Health. It was an extremely good turnout from all parts of England and Wales, and I think the members that I have spoken to who are represented here today are quite frightened by some of the messages from the conference. Well, infected midges can be carried in the wind from a source, perhaps in, as we've seen in the last year on the continent, towards the UK, and we believe this happened uh, overnight on the 4th and 5th of, uh, of August. In the coming year, we will be doing some monitoring again of such conditions as the winds uh, from Europe to the, uh, uh, to the United Kingdom. In particular, we've got concerns about the south uh, of the England, along the coastal area, uh, because there will, is likely to be a large source of infection on the Cherbourg Peninsula in that sort of area, and that uh, may cause us concern, but this is something that we'll be monitoring over the coming months. In case some of you are not aware of what a cuticordius looks like, I've brought some with me. Just to give you an idea that that one is not the real size. So these are some cuticordius from the ones we keep at Perbright. They're not infected. <laughs> <laughs> If the animals come from an infected country into the same zone in the UK, that is allowed by the European Commission. But we wouldn't recommend doing that because that way you increase the weight of infection in the United Kingdom. It's also the situation when you're importing animals from locations in infected countries which you are considered to be free, it needs to be absolutely certain that these animals are not infected. If an animal has been infected in 2007, that animal, animal will they'll be, they'll then be immune from blue tongue, from that particular serotype of blue tongue for life. If, however, another serotype of blue tongue comes up from southern Europe and infects that animal, it will have no immunity against that serotype. Uh, my message would be this disease needs to be taken extremely seriously. We've seen what's happened in northern Europe. We know what this virus can do. So we have to be, take every precaution that this virus doesn't go through our 35 million sheep in this country. It is important that we as an industry vaccinate and vaccinate as many animals as possible, as quickly as possible. But there's another message from the meeting today, and that is the high quality and the high reputation that our scientists have at Burbright and here at Compton. And these are the leading scientists as far as animal disease is concerned particularly not just here in the UK, but right across the world. So Our only option is vaccination. We're fortunate we have an inactivated vaccine available. Immediately we get the vaccine, we have to vaccinate the highest risk area in the protection zone, and we have to get cover of as close to 100% animals, of animals as possible.